uh, product of the Western uh, side, um, yet I do have some experience in the Muslim world and, and the other uh, Eastern countries. I think that Turkey, more than anywhere else, really brings the two together. Um, I have secular friends here. I have religious friends here. They're all amazing people. Uh, they all have a very um, dynamic um, understanding of the world that I don't think a lot of Americans share. Um, you know, there is an identity crisis there, I think, but, but I think, you know, I have that as well, being in the United States, or uh, being from the United States, and, and yeah, I think Turkey, probably, possibly more than anywhere else, can really uh, bridge that gap. I can say that, you know, we have a good inheritance from our uh, history, that, you know, we have been living with different cultures and even different religions and different civilizations for a long time in, with, with Ottoman Empire. But I think Jerry is, is, uh, is living in the United States. You have something to say about this, right? Uh, of course I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> of course. I, uh, you know, uh, there's a, a lot of stuff that, uh, and I agree again, there's a lot of stuff that American people, and not just Americans, but the, the Western Hemisphere, as far as that goes, uh, the whole North American uh, scene really doesn't know about uh, Turkey. Uh, they hear about Iran, and they hear about Syria, they hear about Israel, uh, but they really hear very little about Turkey. Uh, they don't hear anything really about the Turkish Islamic Union or anything that's going on with that, or that's uh, tried, that's being worked on. Uh, and um, ironically, bringing up the, the, the talk about Iran is one of the articles that uh, is being worked on right now uh, by myself and Jaylon is the, the uh, Iran actually partnering with Turkey and the Turkish Islamic Union and uh, one of the other journalists that uh, we've been talking with uh, was uh, saying that it would be really um, not politically correct to have this in, the, in our article because the Western world would be such, you know, they'd have such a negative outlook on it uh, because of what they hear about Iran. So what I find is that today I'm going to actually try and figure out a way to put into this article and let people know that uh, that Iran is not just the government, it's not just the, uh, you know, the people that are in Iran that are causing trouble, which uh, it's not just Iran, you know, there's, there's many places this is going on, but Iran uh, is really in the news, and there is really a negative sentiment uh, in our, about Iran in the, in the Western culture right now, um, almost as much so as what a lot of people call Islamophobia. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you almost have Iranophobia. In yeah. a lot of places, people are uh, thrilled yeah. when when they hear the name of Iran, right? Iran. Oh yes, yeah, they do. The yeah. first thing they think of is weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, because this has been pressed so much. Uh, but what they don't think of are the everyday people there. You know that there are. Uh, we do have brothers and sisters there. There are people there that want peace just as much as anybody else. They want to be able to go to work. They want to be able to have homes. They want to be able to go to schools. You know, when you look at the, the tens of thousands of people that have had to leave their homes uh, due to the wars in Iran, they've had to literally um, move away from their homes where they've been all their lives uh, to get away from the violence there that they have nothing to do with. And, and people don't know about this. Uh, they don't cover it on the news. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of that, uh, that that really needs worked on, too. And as, as far as Turkey... Uh, you guys all know my, my view on, on Turkey, and especially on Istanbul, uh, because Turkey is a, a gateway between the different countries in the Middle East. And, uh, of course, the, the Turkish Islamic Union is coming out of Turkey, and we have different people that are looking at this also informing uh, this union. You know, um, We have uh, people from Israel that are willing to, to look at this, You know, people from the, um, the, the European uh, countries that are willing to look at this. Uh, so... There are a lot of things uh, that Turkey is leading the way in, uh, I think, that are just going to start coming out in the news uh, as far as the, the alternate media, shall we say, uh, this year and, and the early part of next year. I think there's a lot of good changes that are coming around that Turkey definitely has a role in.